now let's display the each element of the our array so let's uh, remove this up to this and uh, before that one important uh, uh, property we have to understand that is the length property so that will say us document write now i am telling script and using length property so this output will be telling us that how many elements are there so let's see it is four so there are four elements are there so this will be frequently using to our in our uh, scripts to display and various other aspects also so let's say for i equal to zero now i is less than script dot length it will read the total number of element and less than that it will not be equal to because it starts from zero so i value will change from zero one two three only it will never be four so let's say i plus plus fine inside this we'll write let's put these things first and uh, bring this one here now put it here script and we'll say i so first the i first i value will be zero so first will be it will be it will print uh, the first element is php then second element third element and fourth so i will vary from zero one two three and after printing there will be a line break now let's save this and refresh this you can see here php python javascript and one this one i can just add one more line break here copy print here line break here so i can clearly display this so there are four elements we are printing all the four elements by looping this is not the only way other ways of printing the elements or displaying the elements we'll see now let's use two string so we'll say again let's copy this line break we'll put a line break here now we'll say document right now our uh, array is script to string now let's see what happens to this so we'll display the string now now it displays the string but no it is no more a array it's a string now one more way is to use join so let's copy this paste it here okay so we'll say join and in join we can give one value also which will be used to join that and create the string so i am just giving or i let's give a dash here so uh, let's see the output save this you can see all elements are printed with the whatever i have given i can change this to one more colon here let's see what it comes out okay so this is how join is used let's display the last element of the array how do i know how many elements are there i don't know so i will just print the last element so what i will do i will say script and i will say script length here so what i am doing i don't know how many elements are there so the, i am just printing the last element but here is an error because length will tell me always the total and my last element will be because the starting position is zero so it will be minus one always so i'll say minus one let's just see what is our last element by the way it is jquery so let's save this and refresh yeah you can see it's printed jquery if i will not minus one then it will give me undefined because the uh, one more it will like overshoot and the next element is not there so then in that similar fashion what is the first element first element is always the zeroth element or i will just make it zero here so this is the j after jquery i think first element is php so it is php it is printing now similarly any element i can print any number i can give say i can give two two here let's see what's the third element is zero one two it javascript now let us display the keys of the array and uh, or key with values also so let's for that i will say for key in script so script is our array i will print now now i will say 
document write now i'll this is the string part key now plus key value okay after this i will just give a line break so i can see the thing fine let's uh, check this how it works saved it and refreshed okay key zero actually here it is key zero is here now for that i need to give a line break let me just copy this and paste it here so saved it now i will get all the there are four keys are there so four keys now i, I just want that along with the key I, I have to print the values also so what i will do i will say plus now again the string is value value i will say little decoration i will do i will value this uh, plus here will be a plus now i will say script mm, now the key script key will give me the particular element so i save this and refresh this you can see key 0 value is php key 1 value is python whatever key 2 key 3 it is also displaying so this is how we can generate the keys also we can generate and uh, value along with that